y'all i'm jesse and today we're gonna do a get to know me tag so first off thank y'all for 100 subscribers and so i asked questions on my story and i wrote them down because i'm using my phone to record so i got them in here all right let's get popping <laughs> oh this one is a shout out um so the first five people to ask me questions, I'm gonna shout y'all out. And this first one is for Jamal the Camel. <laughs> That's his username, y'all. <laughs> Crazy. All right. <laughs> Was the rice and avocado good? Yes. So um, I love avocado, y'all. I be using it for everything for real. I eat it with rice, I eat it with toast. I eat it just by itself. I eat it with chips. I eat it in guacamole. Avocado, great. And it's a good source of protein too. Let's go. This second question, what am I majoring in? I'm majoring in biology and I am minoring in chemistry and psychology. And I talk more about school in my Howard video. I just did a collab with. All right, this one is my biggest fears. Um, this is crazy, y'all, but <laughs> I'm not necessarily scared of squirrels themselves, but like y'all know on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where they were like clawing all at that girl? Yes, like, no. And because of that, I'm also like, I do not like cats, like, Oh my god no and i literally had a nightmare the other night about like a whole bunch of cats getting into my house i'm sorry yeah like definitely no mm -mm. claws no <laughs> um where are you from i am from salisbury maryland a little old town on the east coast My favorite food, um, definitely cream of crab soup is at the top of my list. And I also love bread. I don't know if that counts. Does that count? I love bread, y'all. Like, <laughs> first off, like, Texas Roadhouse Rolls, love it. Outback bread, love it. Just bread in general, like, Sometimes if I'm hungry, I will literally just eat hot dog rolls. <laughs> don't come at me, y'all. Like, I literally love bread. Like, I don't know. Like, I'll just eat bread. All right. This one is another shout out. I don't know how you say this username, but... M N S X M E R S Minx Mers. Thanks for asking a question. Um, all right. Oh my gosh, y'all. Why have it up like this? How old am I? I am 19 years young. Period. I'm not a baby though. I'm grown. I'm a grown woman. Are you single? Yes, I'm single, y'all. And I know Valentine's Day is coming up. And I don't even hate Valentine's Day. And I don't care that I'm single. I've been single for 19 years. You like being tall. <laughs> this is do I like being tall? Um now I do, I guess, kinda. It's not really something that I like but it's something that I've started to embrace more when like a few years ago I hated being tall and sometimes I still do hate being tall first off just like it's an insecurity kind of well it used to be an insecurity of mine being tall and then yeah like now it's like just finding clothes like jeans is so hard to find jeans that aren't high waters like and everybody want to be oh i want to be as tall as you no you don't girl no you don't 
and then like i mentioned in my last video as well like it just really slims out the pool of men that you choose from because i'm sorry i don't want no man that's shorter than me anyways <laughs> moving on my worst injury um definitely i forget what grade i was in but i like sprained my acl that was scary bro because like when you know like when you get an exam and he said acl and i was like bro like that's like a detrimental injury like no but yeah i just sprained it how tall am i i am actually uh, technically probably 5'11 and a quarter or something like that but basically six foot if we're we're saying it like y'all men do but y'all be like 5'8 and be like oh yeah i'm six foot stop lying <laughs> um how many brothers and sisters do i have i have three brothers and three sisters and i am the youngest sister out of all of us but we don't like they're older y'all we don't all live in the same house do i have pets no i've actually never ever had a pet like my sister she's had like fish before never had any of those um when we were younger, like, there would be, like, stray dogs around the neighborhood, and my dad would feed them. And so I guess that'd be, like, a temporary... That's what we like, act like that was our temporary pet. But, um, obviously, they went away. Um, and then, like, turtles and stuff, but nothing ever permanent. But I did... I used to beg my mom for a corgi, and she'd be like, they can't climb stairs. So I never got one, even though they can climb stairs. My favorite fits. Um, my favorite fit right now is actually one that I haven't worn and you can see it in my Shein haul. Um, it's the white top with the leather zip up corset and the snakeskin skirt and them knee high boots. Y'all, I can't wait to wear that outfit. I'm actually wearing an outfit from that haul right now, but this ain't my favorite one though. And we have another shout out. This one is for Alea Marie dot underscore. Thanks for asking a question, girl. All right. I'm trying to make this quick, y'all, because I definitely have lab in like an hour. What's my passion? Um, kids, I wanna be a pediatrician. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I really like working with kids. And like, I remember like, one of them was like, you can be a good mother. And I would have so many, I don't wanna, because of the process of labor, I don't wanna have like a whole lot of kids, but I wanna have a lot of kids. Okay. Conspiracies. Do I believe in conspiracies? Do I think the government is lying to us? Um, I definitely think there are things that the government is probably withholding. Um, I don't really pay into conspiracies. Because, I mean, it is what it is. Like, if I do think a conspiracy is real, like, what am I going to do about it? So, just leave those things alone. And we have another shout out. This one is for Myra. Her Instagram name is M dot Y R A A A A A. It's like, it's like four A's, but I'm gonna put it up there on the screen for y'all. Alrighty. How has college changed you for the better or worse? Um, I think college has definitely changed me for the better but there was a point in time i mean like aspects of me are better first i was gonna say my communication got worse like when i was away at college 
Like, I'm the very bad at communicating. Um, obviously my parents would call me, but I would seldom call them. And then like, especially with my like friends back home, it's like, I think about people, but I don't actually reach out. But I think that's something that I've kind of gotten better at, but yeah, that's like probably one of like the worser things. But I mean, everything else is just like improving, obviously the advancement of my knowledge and expanse of like cultural knowledge and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> somebody asked me what my big three were and I had to, I follow up for clarification cause I was like big three, but they were talking about astrological, like um, rising sun and moon. So I am a Sagittarius. That's what my cousin be calling me. But I don't even be terrorizing nobody. If you feel terrorized, you shouldn't be in my space. But, <laughs> um, so I actually didn't know this until i had to look it up last night um my rising is a capricorn and my moon is a virgo that combination sounds really bad to me but i don't know is that a bad thing y'all what does that mean capricorn and virgo and a sagittarius am i like a monster i don't know yeah like I'm not, like I know about, I read horoscopes and stuff, but I, I don't know how to like identify like all the characteristics of like other zodiacs and stuff. Um, do I sleep with the lights on or off? So I'm, I'm gonna sleep regardless. It doesn't matter if the lights are on or off. I do share a room with my sister. So sometimes she might have, like the lights are split. So she might have her lights on it don't bother me i'm gonna go to sleep sometimes it may annoy me but i'm gonna still go to sleep personally we normally do sleep with all the lights off um i'm not scared of the dark never i'm not gonna say there was a point in time where i was scared of the dark but i'm a type of person i don't like to wake people up when they're asleep so like when i was younger i wouldn't turn on any lights in the middle of the night like if i was using the bathroom <laughs> i don't know like i don't like to disturb people um so yeah i got used to the dark like when i would be afraid like you know like when you be seeing stuff like it's like there's like a jacket or something on the wall and then you're like, oh, like, it's a person. Then I just, like, you know, focus on it and be like, no, it's not a person. It's just a jacket. And that's how I got over, like, being scared of the dark or whatever. Um, my greatest moment at Howard. Um, I don't know if you mean, like, friendships or, like, accomplishments. But one of, like, my favorite things personally, just by myself, um, I was in a fashion show for um college of engineering but they like did it they opened it up for all stem majors and that was really fun um yeah i really enjoyed that mm -mm. um what do you think is wrong with the black community <laughs> okay um, I think there's so much separation within the black community that, <sighs> yes, we have a lot of problems that are caused by external factors, but within us, there's just so much separation where there could be unity. Like for instance, like a problem that really bugs me, even though it never personally affected me, is how african americans treat africans like in middle school like you know like when they would get picked on because their accent or stuff i think that's a really stupid thing because it's just like your ancestors down the line came from you know africa too so why are you why are you doing that like that that really just never makes sense to me but um yeah, I think, like, if the Black community came together as a whole, like, you know? And also, like, 
oh the black men's disrespect and disregard for black women um my favorite way to self-care um really just relaxing and doing nothing i have the tendency to like start a lot of projects and be a busybody and do a lot of stuff so just like chilling out watching movies sleeping thinking about nothing is my favorite way to self-care also journaling is a more productive way to self-care i guess um this one is do i have tips for starting a channel um just do it i guess uh i've been thinking about doing youtube for a long time and then i was like talking to someone and they were telling me about something that they want to do and i was like you know like you're the only person stopping you from what you want to do and then i was like let me apply this to my own life so you should apply that to like, your life if you want to start a channel you know go ahead go for it i mean obviously you get like the stuff you need like you know something to record with but i'm just using my phone so yeah go ahead and if you do start a channel let me know and i'll subscribe okay why did i write these on post-it notes like how many boyfriends have you had zero the big question is who's gonna be the first to lock it down it's like <laughs> i really don't care <laughs> that's so bad i mean it's not that i don't um i'm not i am open to love or having a boyfriend or whatever but it's just like after this long time of being single like why would i settle like come on now you better come with that pressure if you want me um this is another shout out uh kind of like willow but with the two after the w so with two lu <laughs> i don't know we get into the bottom y'all okay you almost done stay with me come on in baby how have i been a lot of y'all ask me this and I really appreciate that. Like, I feel like that's such a thoughtful question. I've been good. I've been, you know, school is school. I mean, I'm trying not to let it stress me out. I've been really kind of on top of my assignments though, for real, for real. Even though I have a lab report to do before I have class in two hours. But despite that, I feel like I've been keeping on top of my other stuff. Um, and yeah, work is good. Just, how have you been? How have y'all been? I appreciate y'all thinking about me. <laughs> Flats or drums? Um, I really don't care, but I guess drums is the preference because it's just easier to eat. Like, flats is so complicated. With the drum, all I got to do is eat around that one piece, and that's it. Okay, this is the last one. And it is, how do I balance different aspects of life? You just got to take a breath, you know. If it's something that you want to do, then you'll be able to make time for it and do it. And, you know, don't try to take on too much stuff. Um, I've been learning this now more and more, you know, we're all going at different paces in our life, you know, so it's okay to take time and go at a slower rate than, you know, everybody else. And that is all for today, y'all. Thanks for asking questions. Um, if there's anything else you want to know, I guess you can just comment below and I will see y'all next week.